Before I became Muslim, I didn't believe any God. For me, God didn't matter. I didn't trust any God before I became Muslim. Allah gives someone hidayah even to whom do not believe in God. This is not just a figment of a story, but a real life story of Yusa Yuta Kainuma. In his home country, Japan, Yusha did not know anything about God. Yusha had not even believed that God existed. For 29 years of his life, nobody explained to him the concept of God and religion. Before I became Muslim, I didn't believe any gods. In Japan, we celebrate all celebrations, like uh, Christmas, New Year, anything. Basically, Japanese religion is a kind of Shinto Buddhism. But actually, we don't believe any god. For me, god didn't matter. Never cross in you some mind that in the end he will become a Muslim and love Islam earnestly. His story began in 2018 when he visited Morocco. When I reached in Morocco, heard some beautiful sound in taxi. So I asked the driver, what is this song? Taxi driver said, it's Quran. That time I felt, what a beautiful it's not song, but it's not poem, something different. And I felt it's so beautiful and I want to learn about this. Allah's words throughout Quran were very touching of his heart and soul. The beautiful Al-Qur'an recital kept him strong as a Muslim. The prejudice toward Islam was suddenly gone the moment he heard a mesmerizing Al-Qur'an verse. Before I traveled in Japan, Islam was scared because of some media saying, oh, Islam do terrorism, or oh, Islam not good, scary. That's why we felt Islam is not good religion. We scared. But I saw in the world, I saw Islam as well. And I felt it's totally different what we learned in Japan. I felt Islam is more peace and Muslims very kind. When I traveling, so many Muslims helped me. Yeah, in Turkey as well, in Morocco, South Africa, of course, Indonesia. So my feeling was changed when I traveled. Shortly after converting to Islam, Yusha announced it to his family. In personally, Yusha not only told them that he is a Muslim, but he also changed his attitude and manner according to Islam. Family knew I stayed in Morocco. No, Morocco is 99% of Muslims. They keep in touch with me very normal because me myself changed because of Islam. Before I couldn't talk with family nicely. Some Japanese stress culture stress I had. So I couldn't talk with family, but when I start traveling and when I reach Morocco, when I became Muslim, I start to conversation with 
family. And Islam also teach the take care family. So I realize the take caring of family is important. Then I talk with my family about this kind of things. Take caring family, be kind to people. So family watch me how I change. Before I couldn't talk with family, but now I talk with family. Yeah, in work, I don't know. In a week, one time, two time, I call to family. And my mother glad with this. Yeah, because my father felt sadness because I didn't talk with my mother. But when I became Muslim and I started to talk with my mother, my mother felt very happy. And she asked about Islam. Why are you changed like this? Then I said, oh, Islam changed me like this. So family now they accept what I accept. So my mother, Alhamdulillah, became Muslim and my grandfather also became Muslim. Inshallah my father my brother will accept it. <laughs> is completely sure about his life choice. He is not only newly Muslim, but he also does da'wah. His da'wah touched many people. Yusha also met some of his close family and friends converted to Islam. Four years as a Muslim, Yusha feels so much serenity in his heart and mind. On the top of that, Yusha is now studying to get a master's degree in Islamic studies at one of the universities in Jakarta. Yusha has been staying in Depok, West Java for eight months with his wife Yumiko Umeda. Yusha and his wife got married one year ago. Yumiko is Indonesian who has a Japanese bloodline from her father's side. Yusha and Yumiko met when they both studied Islam in Japan. And now the love story continues in Indonesia. Sometimes in like uh, midnight, some zikr, they doing zikr, sometimes difficult to sleep. But uh, I'm thinking in Japan, there is no azan, no zikr, nothing. And Japan, very difficult to live for Muslims. Mm, it's difficult to find place to pray. It's difficult to find eat, can food, halal food. So here, azan. Anytime I can listen Azan, so I won't miss any salat. Yeah, Japan very hard to find the time to pray. Like a company doesn't have this system of like Asr pray. They don't understand. So yeah, I feel safe and I feel peace when I heard about Azan, some Zikr, also Fajr, I can wake up <laughs> because Zikr and Azan, I can hear, I can hear. <laughs> Yusha feels comfortable in Indonesia because here he gets so many convenient things as a Muslim. Yusha is also amazed by how Indonesians are so nice and kind toward him. Indonesian Muslims are easy going. Japanese people make people hurry up 
make rush and the uh, Japanese company will give punishment if person late one minute. But here Muslims everyone easy going and they won't criticize, they not so much judge other people. Okay, Muslim, okay, Christian, okay, Buddhism, okay. Let it be. So I feel here easy to live more space I have my space and people give to people space not so difficult to live here you shall feel so grateful that Allah always gives him the facilities to learn more about Islam easily some differences in practicing Islam compared to Muslim countries he had visited sometimes I'm, I confuse but we can choose or we can decide what how I do Islam and what we breathe so we have space Islam don't make it tight to how to breathe it left so many ways to believe and I think people can believe how they want to believe so sometimes yes I confuse the, some difference of how to pray how to believe but and I go like a middle way of this I I found my how to breathe to Islam. In the middle of his master degree study, sometimes you shall make some nasheed songs. Through nasheed, you shall hopes it will be easier to introduce Islam to more people. I was musician. Then I was writing songs in Japan. Some doing some writer. I was writer and song writing also. Then I was looking for truth of this world. What is this world? How, why I live? How we? Leave, where we go after die what will happen and I try to write lyrics song kind of like this feeling then I found Islam I lost what I wanted to say because Quran said everything everything written in Quran so I was very shocked and feel satisfied so many Japanese uh, misunderstanding about Islam. So that time I felt I want to explain about Islam more nicely of my way. I can play music, I can sing, and there is nasheed, I can give message. That's why now I'm trying to make songs nasheed. To express his love for Nasheed, he made some songs and did collaborate with Muslim in Japan. He also translated some of his Nasheed songs into Japanese and uploaded them to his social media. My purpose now is a uh, dawa to Japan and uh, here there is base of Islam and uh, Japan doesn't have any base basic of Islam so I can afford to dawa but I need also 
many helps. I need also many help from Muslims. I want uh, Indonesian people to Dawa, Japan, or to any countries, to non-Muslims. Yes. So sometimes come to Japan and uh, just uh, communication with Japanese nicely. And Japanese can realize oh, Muslims is not so like uh, danger or terrorist people. So image will change. So I want Muslims to uh, become together and make dawah to Japan and non-Muslim countries. Extraordinary month. That month is Ramadan. Same like all Muslims around the world, you shall welcome Ramadan with joy and delightfulness. I'm so exciting now. Last year I spent Ramadan in Japan. That was hard time. Because I was walking in the daytime. It's a little bit hard work. Yeah, and it's difficult to find some halal food. So sometimes I couldn't do fasting because of some sickness, headache, or yeah, and taking medicine. So yeah, that was very hard. But now, Alhamdulillah, I can study in here and I have time to take Ramadan nicely and I have halal food anywhere I don't need to go food with a uh, car one hour I don't need to do this and uh, Azan will come every time I have praise to pray Alhamdulillah this time I want to do Ramadan nicely inshallah you shall fully understand that everything he does in Ramadan will bring God deeds for him. That's why Yusha and his wife always try to strengthen their iman and do their ibadah double and even triple. In his daily life, Yusha also always try to do ibadah together with his wife. Yusha admits that there is no big difficulty to do fasting in Indonesia, even though Indonesia is famous for its heat. Yes, very hot, but not so humidity. In Japan, summer, phew, like 40 degrees and too much humidity. So it's very hard to spend there. And winter, very cold, minus. Okay, daytime is become daytime becomes short, but too much cold, it's hard to spend. And I spent Ramadan in Morocco as well. Morocco also very very hot, and uh, very long time to do fasting, like uh, around uh, 18 hours. So. I had I have experience about this here mm, 14 minutes 15 I don't know no, no, 14 hours 15 hours maybe and uh, yeah in in the house I don't feel too much hot so it's good good temperature for me yeah but there is one thing he still cannot leave behind, his Japanese palate. Even though it is so easy to find halal food in Indonesia, but Yusha and his wife are still not used to Indonesian food yet. 
That's why they choose to cook their food to break the fasting and sahur. Biasanya uh, kami masak masakan Jepang seperti kare Jepang atau uh, mie udong atau soba kayak seperti mie gitu ya. Terus kadang masak masakan Indonesia juga yang sebisanya. From open this year, Yusha will spend his time expressing more of his gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Raise me. When I traveling, Allah leads me to Islam. So, I want to thank you for Allah to found about me. Yeah, I didn't believe any religion. Of course, Islam, I didn't believe. And I afraid about Islam. But when I traveling, yes, I start to feel some big, big existence. And Allah gave me some answer. So I want to thank you for Allah uh, to raise me and uh, give me this Quran and uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and my wife and uh, I can study now yes I want to thank you for Allah about this and inshallah Allah will make easy to my way and make my family my friends please to Allah also inshallah inshallah Yusha hopes to be protected until the end of his life. Allah always protects him and his faith in Islam. Furthermore, he prays to Allah for people who do not know about religion. He hopes they realize soon that God and religion is important in their lives. Not so big, but around of me is non-Muslim, like my family. My friend, like uh, people I know, all non-Muslims. So um, I cannot say some big, big things, but I want people understand Islam nicely. Like my friends, my family, the people whom I know. I want. To they to agree Islam. I want they become Muslims and they will go to Jannah. He never felt so happy for his life achievements, except now being a Muslim. Thereby, Yusha will never forget to praise Allah every second, every heartbeat, and every breath.